Hello guys, in today's video I am unboxing VATOS helicopter. It is YD218 model. It is very light, made of plastic, I really like the shape of it. And it has very nice red metallic color. Here we can see it is a little compartment for battery. So you just have to drop the battery just right here. Okay. And this is where you plug the battery. Oh, and here you have a little red light. And below you will have a white flashing light. So you have the remote control. And you have some spare parts. Four spare blades. And you can see there are uh, some letters A, A, B and B. So you know exactly where to put A's go on top of the helicopter and bees go on the bottom of the helicopter. We have a little screwdriver which is great just so you can insert your batteries here and the little little blade just for the back of the helicopter. Oh, and this is a charging cable so you plug this to your laptop computer and then you have to plug just this one like that and when it's charging it will be red light here when it's fully charged the light will turn green then you can plug it that's it so you have two batteries as you can see one goes here one is the spare one you have the instruction manual Flight time is six minutes. So that's why you have two batteries. Charge them both before you go out. So you have 12 minutes flight time. Charging time is 60 minutes. For the remote control, you need three AAA batteries. Okay, first you have to connect the battery in the helicopter. Then you can see the indicators, the red light is flashing and the one on the bottom of the helicopter is flashing as well turn on the remote, pull the throttle stick to the highest point and then to the lowest to connect with the helicopter. Place the helicopter on the flat surface and then press once the button just below the flashing light. Once again push slowly the throttle to the highest point to start flying. I've noticed that the higher it flies, it's more difficult to control because of the wind. If you want your helicopter to land immediately, you have to press the little button below the light. At some point we lost control over the helicopter and it flew towards the trees and then fell into the bush. So we have to climb up over the fence and pick it up. Also when we tried next to our house, it ended up in the tree. So if it's your first time, just go to a very large field where it's not many people, not many trees. I hope you found that video helpful and have fun with your helicopter. Bye! Thank you very much for watching!